What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I kind of feel like I'm like visiting a friend that I haven't seen in a long time and I feel kind of awkward about it. Um, I've now been off YouTube for about two weeks and I feel really bad about it. I don't know why it took this long for me to get back on camera. I actually recorded an empty apartment tour for you guys for the new apartment that I am currently in. So that will be the next video that you're going to see. But um, really, life has just been kind of crazy. I essentially like moved from the UK uh, and then tried to come to the US and then that didn't work out. And then I had to come to Kentucky and move apartments. So it has been a really crazy three weeks. Obviously Christmas was last week. There's just been a lot going on and I haven't really like taken the time to pick up the camera and talk about it. Um, but I actually wasn't planning on making this video at all. I'm actually going on a trip tomorrow. It is 9.45 p.m. It's a uh, Sunday the 29th. We are two days from New Year's. But I've just been thinking a lot about a video and something that I want to talk about um, with the new year coming up and everything and I just, I don't know, I just feel like I need to do it. I feel like I need to make this video. So um, I'm sitting down, I should be packing, but I'm going to sit down and do it. Uh, and yeah, basically every year we all make, you know, we all make New Year's resolutions and a lot of times they're around fitness and they're around dieting and you know a healthier lifestyle and all kinds of good stuff like that. If that's you, um, I have an app, it's called Body by Brit and I do a 12 week plan as well as one on one personalized coaching and I am running a discount on it right now so if you use code New Year's Eve NYE 2020 uh, you will get a discount on my plans. That's always the first link down in my description if you guys want to check it out. If you know your New Year's resolution is to get back in the gym and start living a healthier lifestyle. That's amazing. That's awesome. I'm really loving working with my Body by Brit girls right now and like really creating goals for them for 2020 and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And on Sundays, my BBB girls, we have a FaceTime. So if you sign up for one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching, we FaceTime every single Sunday separately. We kind of update on what's going on. I let them know what their changes are going to be for the week and that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun and it just got me thinking about my own New Year's resolutions and what I want 2020 to look like. and. I was really inspired. I actually follow uh, Jen Atkin on Instagram, if you know who she is. She's like a celebrity hairstylist. She does like Kendall Jenner and Kylie Jenner's hair and anyway, I follow her for the longest time. And she did this thing for her New Year's resolution where she put some goals down on sticky notes and put them on her wall to see every day. And I don't know, I saw it and when I saw it, it like, I don't know, I guess it sparked something in me and I wanted to do it. and. A couple of people have made videos kind of like going through this list and it's been really challenging for them and I was just thinking all day today like how would I answer those questions, what would my goals be? Um, because as far as like a New Year's resolution goes, I just want to invest in myself in 2020 and do things for myself that I wouldn't normally do and like focus on um, my goals and things that I haven't because this year has just been so crazy and running around and unstable and chaos and yeah so I just in 2020 I really want stability uh, and that's kind of all I could think of and I was like you know I need to go into the year with more than just this so I figured I would go through the list the picture I'm talking about is right here this is what it looks like these are Jen's post-it notes some of my answers are even like inspired by hers because it is surprisingly hard to think about these things and my challenge to you guys is to go through this list and answer these questions yourself write it down, put them somewhere to look at every day, you know, make it like a, a mood board, a vision board. I'm a real believer in like believing that things will happen and they will. Like I never think worst case scenario. I'm always like everything's going to be fine. This is what we're going to do. You know, this is what I'm going to do in 2020. I, I really believe in like manifesting your goals and your dreams and you know, that kind of thing. So I wanted to do that this year. So I encourage you guys to do that and let me know down in the comments your answers to some of these questions if you want. I think it would be really fun to kind of see what everyone wants to do this year more specifically than like, you know, a typical New Year's resolution. So the list is we have I want to quit. I want to start. I want to learn. I want to continue to. I want to try. I'm going to stop. And then I want to have and I want to be. Um, and I just kept thinking about this all day. And you know, it sounds really easy because especially Jen's answers are very short. They're like a couple words. It's really hard. Like it's actually so difficult to come up with these answers. But I think it's really good to say it out loud. And I kind of wanted to make this video to hold myself accountable, to hold you guys accountable for 2020, like, for the things that you want to do. And we can we can be there for each other through this journey. Obviously, 2019 has been a roller coaster and my life has changed completely 
because of YouTube and because of you guys and I am forever grateful for that and I need to step it up. My biggest thing for 2020 is to step it up on YouTube but a lot of these goals um, for me are really personal and I wanted to share them with you and maybe they will inspire you to you know make some changes yourself, make some changes with me. So let's get into it. Number one is I want to quit. So for me, this is going to kind of sound weird um, coming out of my mouth, but I promise I'll explain. So I want to quit putting everyone and everything else before myself. And that sounds bad because, you know, we learn put others first. That's so important. I always think you should put others first, but I am the queen of dropping everything for anyone who needs anything at any time regardless of what my priorities are and my goals are and um, the things that I need to do are I am and it's hard because it's a blessing and a curse like it's a blessing because I love to give I want to do everything for everyone um, but the problem is I do so much that I sometimes forget about myself and I sometimes forget about the things that I need to do and I don't prioritize those things so I want to quit putting everything before me. I want to I want to focus on myself a little bit more. Okay, so the lovely camera cut me off. But yeah, that's just kind of what I need to do in 2020. I need to focus on some of my goals and do what I have to do to accomplish them and put that first and make it a priority. It's not even so much as like putting myself before others. I think it's just making myself a priority. It's making my own goals more of a priority um, and the things that I want to do regardless of what other people like think or need you know what I mean so that's my number one number two is I want to start so I want to start this is kind of vague but I want to start being more social um, as somebody who works from home now and I don't have like an office to go to during the day I have been in the position where I went to an office every day and I traveled for work a lot and I was always in like social situations and corporate situations and things and I met so many different people and I learned so much and even when I lived in Boston, um, it's a, Boston's like a very social city, like no matter what you do, who you meet, it's always like let's go grab a drink, let's go grab a coffee, let's go grab lunch, like you're always kind of out of the house in Boston, it's just go, go, go. And I was so used to that in college and after college and Ever since I started working from home full time and doing YouTube full time, I feel like I I don't do as much like I don't I don't try as many new things or put myself in a lot of social situations and well all of it is completely my fault. I'm a lot more nervous than I used to be in social situations because I'm not used to it. It's just like going to the gym, like the more you do it, the more comfortable you are doing it being in social situations, the more you do it, the more comfortable you are. And I find myself a lot more anxious around new people now and really nervous to like meet people um, because I just spend so much time by myself and so much time like alone and talking to a camera instead of other people and things like that. So yeah, that's, I, I want to start being social. I want to go to events that I get invited to and challenge myself to like, go to a class or, you know, something as simple as just like starting a conversation and not being afraid to and just putting myself in more situations where I can grow and I can meet new people and I can learn from them. Yeah, that's what I want to start. <laughs> so, all right, I want to learn. I want to learn to see people for who they are. And this is kind of like a wide one, but my mom always says, and she always has said, when people show you who they are, believe them. And that came to me in this, in that I want to learn, because I have a very bad habit of only seeing the best in people and ignoring the worst. And I experienced this so much when I lived in the UK, and it was so disappointing, and um, that's kind of what sparked this, is when I lived there, there were a lot of people who I only saw their good intentions, or I thought they were good intentions. Um, I'll just flat out. There were a lot of girls that I thought were or would be my friends um, in the UK, and it turned out at the end of the day that that wasn't their intention at all, and they were essentially trying to just be a part of my life for like 
their own gain. And looking back at that experience this year and those people, I literally like I should have seen the red flags. Like through conversations with these people, more than once they showed me who they were. And I think I purposely tried to ignore it because I wanted to have friends and I only saw the good. I chose to only see the good in them instead of, you know, consider that they may have bad intentions. And the first time they showed me what their intentions were, I should have paid attention. I should have listened and I should have said, you know, this isn't the kind of thing that I need in my life. But I chose to not see that. And I learned a lot from it um, this year. And it was the first year that I ever experienced that. Anyone like trying to be my friend for a reason that, I was, that just wasn't other than being my friend. I'd never experienced that. I didn't understand that people could actually do that, so I just chose to ignore the signs. So in 2020, I want to see the signs. I want to, when I see, you know, the kind of person somebody is or what their intentions are, I just want to listen. Like I want to know myself enough and trust my intuition enough that I just pay attention to that feeling and I don't let anyone take advantage of me because I see the best in them when maybe I shouldn't always, you know what I mean? So that is what I want to learn. That is hard to learn. I think you have to like learn yourself and learn your intuition to be able to do that. So I want to learn that and I want to continue to help. That's literally what I have. I want to help. I want to help um, up until this year actually. I have gone to Haiti every single year on mission trips and volunteered there and it really is the one thing that makes my heart feel so so full in the world and I just know that part of my purpose is to be in Haiti and help those people and spread love and spread joy there and this year we weren't able to go because there was a lot of rioting um, at the border and the flights that were supposed to be going to Haiti actually all got cancelled um, and we weren't even allowed to go because it was like a security risk so I didn't get to go and I really want to go in 2020 and even if I don't get to go to Haiti even if it's not that I just want to find ways to give like for me giving is what makes me feel the best like that's why I love Christmas. I love birthdays. I love surprising people. Giving gifts is my love language. Like I just love that. That's how I show you that I love you is I buy you the things that you want or need or didn't even know that you wanted. I love that reaction of like somebody being excited that they got something. Um, yeah, or just surprising someone. Like that fills me up with so much, so much joy. So I want to do more of that in 2020. I want to give more of my time, of the things that I have, if I can in any way. And like my, my brother, for example, works with uh, a really, really wonderful foundation in New Albany, Indiana. They're called uh, Hope and they provide for their community in all kinds of different ways. And I really want to volunteer there in 2020, not only to support him, but to support people who need it and um, support yeah, what they're doing because it's really, really amazing. Um, so yeah, so I want to, I want to help. Okay, so next up, I want to try, <laughs> this feels really silly. I want to try dance class. I really want to go to a dance class this year. Um, I used to dance. I was a gymnast and then I was a dancer all through high school and I haven't tried to dance or done class or anything for a really, really long time. And I actually always see, I don't know if you guys follow Sholly Coker, um, on like YouTube and stuff, he's great. His girlfriend, her name's Casey, and she's awesome. She came to the Caymans with us, and Casey teaches a dance class. Uh, she's a choreographer, and I always watch her videos on Instagram, and I'm like, I wanna learn to do that. Like, I wanna learn to dance. But I, again, this goes back to being like more social. I'm nervous to go and be around other people, and I don't know, I'm quite nervous about that. So <laughs> I want to do a dance class and challenge myself to do that. And I think it would be fun to learn how to dance. And it's a good workout. So there's that. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to try is dance class in 2020. And I am going to stop, this is kind of a big one. I am going to stop being so quiet about my goals just because I'm a little afraid of them. And I've kind of figured this out in the past couple of weeks, how kind of quiet I am about the things that I want to do with my life, especially the big things. And I just kind of internalize them and I don't say them out loud. And that's, I think, another reason why I want to make this video. I think I'm actively going to stop doing this thing by making this video. I think I'm taking a step toward keeping this and doing it. Um, because I kind of find that, like, even when I was with my family over Christmas, they were all kind of like, what are you doing in 2020? Like, what's your plan? Are you gonna compete? Are you gonna, you know, do YouTube? Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do that? Like, my dad, who I don't see very often even, was like, 
are you going to get a different job? Like, what are you going to do? What's your plan? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to get a different job. I want to do YouTube. I want to do it up on YouTube. I want to make all kinds of videos. I want to make videos that make me happy. I want to nationally qualify in 2020. My goal is to nationally qualify in 2020. I do not think that 2020 is my pro card year. Um, I'm not, I'm not ready to say that out loud. I would love to get my pro card, but I'm not ready to say that. I want to nationally qualify in 2020. And no one knows that I want to do that because I don't talk about it. I don't say it out loud. I don't say, yeah, I can't wait for next season. And like, I'm going to kill it. And I'm going to get first place at a show in 2020. But I am. That's my goal. I will get on stage. I will be amazing. And I will kill my prep and I will get first place. I will get a trophy in 2020. I will get a gold medal and I won't stop until I do. And I haven't said that out loud in months. And I've been thinking about it for months and forever. Like, that's what I want. And I don't know why I don't talk about it. I think I don't say it because I'm scared. Because obviously in life and especially on social media when you live publicly, there's pressure if you like say something that you have to follow through with it or you have to do it or people will be disappointed or there's that pressure. So I keep all these goals to myself. There are other goals that I'm not going to say right now, but I have them written down and I'm going to talk about them this year. I'm going to talk about them as I go. I'm going to tell you guys what they are, even though it's scary to say it out loud. I'm sitting here saying I like need to manifest these things in my life by saying them. So I need to say them. So I want to stop being so quiet about my goals because I'm afraid of them. I'm going to be loud about them. I'm going to say them. I'm going to manifest them. And not only that, I'm going to reach them. That's what I want for 2020. I need to say things out loud and believe in myself enough to know that I can say it and I can follow through with it. And if for some reason it doesn't work out, I'm also going to be okay. And I don't have to be afraid of failure. I shouldn't be afraid of failure. We all fail. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, yeah, so there's that one. And then um, my final two, I want to have. Um, I don't know if this meant like a material thing because there's not anything I want to have really. Like I, I don't know, I want to have an air fryer. I think that I don't have that right now and I would really like an air fryer. I think that's about it as far as material goes. But I want to have more joy. That's what I wrote down at my church. Actually, we talk a lot about joy and like, what does it mean to have joy and to be joyful? And it's not the same as being happy. In my opinion, like the way that I think about it is having joy is like feeling full, like feeling whole, feeling like your heart is good and right. And that's, it's a hard feeling to explain, but I want more joy in 2020 and I want to do more things that bring me joy and bring other people joy. And Part of that for me, I'm going to join a life group with my church in 2020, saying it out loud, holding myself accountable. I'm going to join a life group, um, which is like a small group of women um, that you, you know, do life with. That's kind of what it means at my church. And I want to do that. And I know that that will bring me joy. Community brings me joy. Um, meeting other people does. Helping other people brings me joy. I know that doing BBB, Body by Brit, um, will continue to bring me joy. It brings me so much already. So I just want to do more of that and feel more of that. And I want to be, this one was so hard for me and I don't know because I feel like there is so many things that this could be. So I don't know. I want to be myself. I want to be loud about my goals. I want to be more joyful. I want to be more content. That is a big thing for me. Maybe that's what I stick it at is I want to be content. I have a really difficult time, especially now feeling very like uneasy and unstable because a lot of things in my life are being like thrown around and they change really often. You guys have watched me go through this roller coaster this year and um, contentment is something that is very hard to find. And I don't mean content like, oh, I'm content, I'm good, I don't need to do anything else, I don't need to reach any other goals. That's not what I mean. I mean content as in like comfortable emotionally and like feeling stable and feeling okay. There's been a lot of times this year, especially recently, that I feel very like up and down, I'm great and then I'm sad and things are hard and just kind of all over the place. I want to feel more stable, more like no matter what comes at me this year, I'm okay and I'm content no matter what happens. Like 
I am so blessed and I'm so grateful and I think contentment comes from that. It comes from knowing what you have and being grateful for it. For me, that means that I have a new journal <laughs> that literally says be joyful and I'm going to be writing things that I'm grateful for in it every day because even though things are hard and you know the person I love can't be here and I am sometimes here and sometimes in another country and it's, it's all over the place and it's unstable and it's difficult like I, I need to remember all of the things that I'm grateful for and all of the things that are great and good about my life and about the things that I have and I think contentment stems from that. I think it stems from being grateful. Um, so I'm going to work on that this coming year. I'm going to do more, more things that bring joy and contentment and peace uh, to not only myself but to the people around me. That is my goal and to you guys especially. Uh, I couldn't even sit here and make this video in this apartment without you guys and if I don't say it enough I am beyond grateful for you and I mentioned this a bit in my last video but thank you for 50k. My goal actually for 2019 I made a similar list in 2018. My goal for 2019 actually was to have 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and I somehow have 50 and I don't know why you guys watch I don't really know why but I am so appreciative and I'm so grateful that I get to share my life with you and I hope that in some way it helps you or inspires you and I can just continue to do that for you in 2020 and it's gonna be a good year we're gonna do it together we're gonna be joyful we're gonna be grateful and, and do more things for ourselves that is that is my goal 20. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I challenge you to do the same thing. Make a list. Share in the comments, you know, the things that you want to do in your goals for 2020. Say them out loud. Make them real. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So watch out for that. Uh, and I'm going to go pack now because I need to pack. I have a big trip coming up tomorrow. So. so happy new year to all of you. I hope it is an incredible start to the new year and I hope it's everything that you want it to. So thank you guys for watching. As always, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one.